So if you were then searching online for your own French chateau to escape to, to maybe do a little bit of rewiring, a bit of painting, can't be that bad, can it? You go online, maybe there's a, a, a glass of wine or two after your evening meal, and you think, come on, let's do this. Well, one of the uh, the first websites that will pop up is, <laughs> is a website called Prestige Property. And, yep, yeah, it sells all these both run-down and really exclusive chateau all over Europe. The owner is Mike Brownholtz. He is the CEO. Uh, they are based uh, in Dorset. And, and uh, they've been running this website and keep seeing it crash every time any of these property shows are on. So I spoke to him earlier, asked him how much he would actually set you back if you decided to go for this. Well, it's not necessarily more difficult. The process is different. The French property business or real estate business is regulated. And at the centre or at the top of the regulation is a chap called the notaire. But in order to become a property agent in France, you have to have a licence. So... Everybody you buy a property from either has to be an agent commercial or a licensed uh, property agent. You you tend to be going through very, very professional people, but once you've established who, which agent you'd like to use, it's pretty much the same as buying a property in the UK. You've got to go around, you've got to select, choose, you know, decide your budget, choose where you would like to go, and then start focusing on mm-hmm. pro- properties that, that, that reach a shortlist. So it's, mm-hmm. it's not much more difficult. What is different, of course, in this context is the type of that you're, you're looking at. So a chateau is a major undertaking. The, the best value for money you, you'll tend to find will be in the parts of France that are less uh, sunny. So I, I say that, but, you know, for instance, Normandy, north of the Loire, to the northern parts of France, around Paris, a lot of big, a lot of big chateaux were built around Paris for the, you know, for the nobles and for the wealthy back in the last few centuries. And, of course, you'll find a lot of quite dilapidated uh, chateaux uh, in, in, these, in these parts. Where you, when you get further south to where it's beautiful weather, where you can have a pool, where you can, um, you know, basically you're competing with the Ponce market, the French Riviera market, that kind of thing, the prices shoot up completely. Mm. So that's, that's something to bear in mind. But in total in France, I believe the French government have classified 80,000 uh, properties as chateaux of which I think at any given moment, three to 4,000 are, um, are on the market. I'm looking now at your web- website and yes. <laughs> historic <laughs> French see? chateau for sale in the, <laughs> is it li- lim- Limousin? With uh, Limousin, yes, Limousin. absolutely. That would, that would be a classic good target place That's crazy. to start searching for a property. How, which, how much is that one? Right, OK, which, so what it? well, it actually says next to it, price reduced, but it's okay. 37,000 square metres. It's, okay. it's an elevated position with 360-degree views over the countryside. Magnificent 12th-century chateau, 3.7 hectares of parkland. It's dating yes. from 1174, one of the oldest medieval castles in the area. Yes. Three quarters of a million euros. And Fantastic. And, and I'm looking at that going, obviously, that's still a lot of money. I mean, don't get me wrong, that's, that's a, yeah. a substantial amount of money. But <laughs> that's but, just... but, but for the equivalent property in the yes. United Kingdom, imagine what you'd be paying. It'd be like now, sort of probably 10, <laughs> 9, 10 million yeah. or so. Yeah, I'm just looking at our properties right at the moment. I'm, in fact, I'm seeing that the, the least expensive property we have on the, the books at the moment, this is contradicting what I just said, is actually near the Pyrenees. So that is in the south, but it's five bedroom, needs a bit of work, but it's €390,000. And I think our most, most glamorous property or chateau, which which has got enormous amounts of land, fully renovated, absolutely perfect. It's got its own helicopter pad, lake, pools, indoor, Which outdoor. Which you need. I mean, obviously, they're, they're just yeah, prerequisites, is, aren't they? Is, <laughs> is, the, is colossal. And that one's, we've got that one at, that's price reduced. That's at 31 million euros. So there's quite a, you'll, you'll find quite a range. Yeah. To put that in context, we also do properties in Monte Carlo and Monaco. And this is, this is mind-blowing. We have a three-bedroom apartment, and this is not that unusual, a three-bedroom apartment in one of the, you know, near the casino in Monte Carlo with, you know, panoramic sea views, 28 million euros. So, 
<laughs> for a flat. <laughs> yeah. £28 million pound for a euro flat. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Goodness me. Right, Mike, it's it's been amazing talking to you about this and I bet you're now ready for, uh, yeah, the next episode of Escape to the Chateau DIY new show, which uh, is, yeah, is obviously absolutely. doing you know, good business for you. It's doing good business and I've, in fact, we've already got a, a load of emails this morning which we're ploughing through. <laughs> From, from various levels of seriousness, from, from people who clearly are never going to buy a chateau to, to people who obviously have made the decision to at least go and start looking. So it's uh, we do, yeah. You get you get in property, you get you get a, a variable bunch of. People.